going, guys, to experiment 414. Why is it so dark? Huh. Okay. I'm a bit creeped out. He's getting closer. Oh, man, he's getting closer. Clearly, that's an armor stand, but still, that's creepy as hell. Dr. Joseph Solomon's Logs, Entry 001 Research into the mind and body has brought us to a solid conclusion. Given our current states, we, as humans, are only capable of using 10% of our own brain. It baffles me that we are able to do so much using only this. I can barely imagine what we could achieve if we had more. Okay. <clears throat> Yay, reading. Journal entry number four. Journal entry 004. Solo man is growing. Constantly talking about his masterpiece, he is refusing to give away any details as of yet, but claims all will be revealed soon. He's spending an awful long time, uh, <laughs> awfully, <laughs> awfully? Wait, wait, wait. Doesn't something seem right there? Awfully long amount of time observing the orphan Alice to see. Oh, <laughs> two. She must tie into all this somehow. Awesome. Oh, damn. Oh, that's a trap. Finally. After months and months of painstaking studies, we have discovered what we believe to be the cause of our inaccessibility to our full mental potential. Thinking about it now, it all makes sense. Just think of how many electrical impulses are running through our body every second of every day for every nerve and neuron. It is of no surprise to me that the brain cannot function properly and is constantly preoccupied by our primary senses. So. I plan to challenge our design. Sight, sound, smell, touch and taste. Perhaps these gifts might just be our limitation. Journal entry number seven. <coughs> Journal entry number seven. Earlier today I read over Alice's <coughs> Al Alice's files. Her mother died giving birth to her, and her father abandoned her at the age of seven. Ever since that day, she blames herself. I hear her sometimes at night screaming, crying, asking what she did to deserve this. Okay, then. Am I supposed to, like, throw these in here or something? Like, eyes collected. Awesome. Oh, look at that. What did I do, man? You are a creepy-ass little guy, aren't you? Daddy? Are you following me? <laughs> oh, man. No idea. The subject hasn't stopped screaming since he removed her eyes and ears. <laughs> her constant shrieking, repetitively asking why, why, why. <laughs> if she knew what science was doing for her. Hmm. My colleagues and I have been discussing how to proceed to the next phase. Perhaps 
we should cut out the tongue. Ouch. That's sort of me. What did this Alice ever do to you? I just felt like playing a horror movie today. Because today, I'm recording this on Halloween, but. Oh, you are a creepy little thing. That looks like a tongue to me. Darn, darn. Oh, dude, this is gonna end up being a maze. Oh, these jerks made this a maze. Jerks. Whoever made this is a jerk. Whoever made this. Um, okay, can we go this way still? Yeah. So we need to. Yeah, we got something from there. Come on. Okay, we were just in there. Turn around every now and again. I get a little bit nervous. And I, I got a nose. Or what looks like a nose. Uh oh. Not this again. Go away, go away. Please go away. Go away. You are a creepy little thing. Blocks made you very scary in this game, but whatever. Arrangements are being made to have the girl transported to a more secure location. It seems that with the loss of her primary senses, as our results predicted, she has become capable of so much more. Many of my cohorts have reported objects levitating in the room around her. Some even said they saw the girl herself hovering in midair. We're taking necessary precautions to prevent her power getting out of hand. We'll be taking her to room 414, where the final procedure shall take place. The removal of the skin. Ouch! Okay, journal entry number 11. Journal entry number 11. Whatever Solo Man, Solo Man did to Alice, it cannot be forgiven however i believe it can be undone i must gather alice's original body parts and bring them to her before it it is too late hold on alice i will save you i will save you alice alice i will save you just stop trying to freak the crap out of me uh oh uh oh oh ball. <laughs> Where is it? Ow. Where is it? She's invisible. She's a super freak. Super freak. She's super freaky. Fingers collected. Uh oh. You have escaped. But now. Save or abandon. I'm going to save that girl. <clears throat> Solo man's notes. note. To anyone who found this, my name is Joseph Solo man. You must leave this cursed place immediately. There is no doubt that soon that monster will come for you. I have watched the beast that I created. Slaughter so many, I have not allowed it to to continue its rampage. It deserves to die. Harry, Harry made my choice though. Oh no, is that the end? Like, really? Am I missing something? That was easy. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this little thing. This was experiment 414 or 414, however you say it. This is Brett Rose saying see you guys next time and happy 
late Halloween. That's all I have to say. So guys, this is Brett Rose. See you guys next time.